happy people, Tracy Reed here today and welcome to the Fierce Team YouTube Hop. We are starting in Photoshop today just real quick because I'm just showing you all of the steps I used to make my um, layered background before I move over into real life and scrapbook this page. Um, I'm using a bunch of embellishments from the Fierce Digital Kit for this page, including this alphabet that is rainbow metal. Oh, I wish I had it in real life. It is fantastic. Um, as well as that pride word and the rainbow heart. I have my journaling that I'm pre-printing as well as some star and confetti mixed media in the background. And then lastly, I'm adding some of these bead letters that I really, really love. I wish that I had them in real life too. So, you know, there's always a trade-off. You get a lot of really great embellishments in the digital kit, uh, but you know, you kind of wish you had them in real life too. I wish that these were real products that I could play with in my hands, but the next best thing is getting to play with them digitally and they print really beautifully. I'm going to print this whole thing as one page and you'll see that here in just a second. And then I'm going to start building my layout on top of it and it's going to be really adorable. So I'm just making sure everything is aligned the way that I want it to be. And I know that I'm gonna put my photo up there on top of the heart. And so I just wanna make sure that the confetti is peeking out well. So you can see, here's the photo I'm using and here is the finished product. You can see how gorgeously that printed out. I love, love, love it. And I have some embellishments that I have printed and cut smaller than the sticker sheet. Also, there are a lot of digital embellishments on this sheet as well. So I'm just gonna pop all of these out real quick so that I have them all ready to go. And now I can start building this layout. You can see that I've printed all of these at a very specific small, like sort of confetti size. Um, because I want them, I want them to be confetti-like, obviously. I want to put them in the stripes of ribbon, a ribbon? Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> oh Lord. The stripes of rainbow on this page and sort of color code them across the page. So I have this blue matte because there's not that deep blue in um, the actual paper that I'm using. I use the light blue in the rainbow rather than the dark blue. So I decided to frame my photo with the dark blue. And then I have this frame from the digital kit that I thought would be a cute little addition to the page. So I'm just going to stick it up here in the corner before I put my photo down because you can see how stinky, stinky, <laughs> oh my goodness, how sticky it is. You know, this is not the first voiceover I've done today, although it is only less than an hour after I've gotten out of bed, so you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so now I have this label with a rainbow on top and I'm just going to use it as the rainbow rather than a label. And I have um, a bunch of word bits and hearts and flowers and banners from this collection. So in order to get some depth to this page, which I like to do, I'm going to pop up some things on pop dots and it took me forever to peel these backings off. It was ridiculous. I will spare you the drama of that. Ugh, goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put this right up here. So the highlight, obviously, of this photo is my makeup on my eyes. So I'm okay with infringing upon my forehead a little bit there to frame in the page. Uh, I took that photo, obviously, with my eyes closed, so it's a little bit close. <laughs> so I have to give up some space in the photo for some embellishment if I want it to look nice and pretty and layered. Then I'm just gonna anchor this photo with another word bit and a heart. And then I'm gonna start putting down all of the bits and pieces on the page where uh, they're just, I just want them to sort of flow with the rainbow. So we're, we're putting them down on the same sort of arc across the page so that they flow across the page. And I'm also making sure to put them with the appropriate color palette. Obviously those um, stickers are multicolored. A lot of them are. So I'm just kind of trying to make sure that I anchor them in the appropriate area rather than trying to make them fit perfectly on the stripe. They have to be very small to fit perfectly on the stripe, so um, I'm not really worried about that. I just want them to flow with the right color palette. So I have three of these rainbows and that one has blue on the outside, so it's gonna go in the blue. This one has 
red on the outside, so it's gonna go up on the red. You get the point. That, that's just basically what I'm doing here. And you can see how it adds to those stars um, and confetti pieces that I printed on that background page and really makes the whole thing look like, like it doesn't make it feel like everything was printed on there the way that the confetti that I'm adding offsets, not offsets, but integrates with the confetti that was printed on there. I'm also gonna pop up the flowers on Pop Dot so that they have a little bit more depth as well. They are layered flowers from the digital kit, but obviously when you print them, they are no longer layered. They just have the illusion of being layered. So <clears throat> you don't have all of that extra height that having an actual layered flower would give you. So I mitigate that by adding pop dots. Again, I am making sure to put these where they go color wise, but then this one was a little bit too, like they were right on top of each other and I didn't like that. So I'm gonna move everything over just a little bit. Now I'm working with Epson premium presentation paper instead of my usual, um, printed from Office Depot on a laser printed paper. And when you print things on a laser printer, it's not as porous. So you can move things around really easily, but because this was printed at home on Epson premium presentation paper, it's very porous. It doesn't like me pulling the adhesive off at all. So I had a little bit of sticky residue I needed to get off there and I still have a little bit left over. So I'm gonna have to put something on top of that to make sure that it doesn't stick to itself when the album is closed. Okay, last thing that I'm gonna add here from the Fierce Collection are all of these cute little confetti hearts. And these are actually sized down from the um, hearts on the sticker sheet. They're, they're sized down pretty significantly, probably like 50% so that they would fit more in the stripes. So that is the joy of digital product is that you can resize it if you need to. And I definitely, took advantage of that <laughs> last heart going down. And then I wanted to add in, um, on this citrus twist puffy sticker sheet are white stars. There's stars on these puffy stickers in every color that you get from citrus twist. So I want to pull the white stars off and add them into the confetti. Since there's white stars like paint, on the background. I thought that that would be a good addition. Plus it would add some more texture in here and it's just oh, perfect. It just adds that perfect little touch that it definitely needed. All right, so I'm gonna cut this in half and I need to cut my um, holes, but then I realized that this is in the way. It's not gonna let me, so I have to pull it back off <laughs> so I can cut my holes and then it's going to be done. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy and Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There is a link to every other person in the hop in the description box below, as well as the blog post for the hop. And I will see you next time. Thank you.